It was a made-for-TV sex sting that split Murphy, Texas in two. Twenty-four men were arrested, but News 8 has learned none of them will be prosecuted. The way the cases were put together was in question from the start. And tonight, the Collin County District Attorney's Office says not one is strong enough to send to the grand jury. Myron Harris has the story as News 8 investigates. It might be called the final scene. A Sunday afternoon last fall in Terrell, southeast of Dallas. In this video, shot by NBC crews, obtained by News 8, you're seeing inside the making of the television show to catch a predator. This scene would end with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. If there's someone in there, they know we're out here. Yeah. They'd all been there for some time. TV crews from the NBC Dateline show to catch a predator, TV producers on the driveway, a TV host, Mike Dup, stood in front. The police were there, too, police from Terrell and Murphy. It's all supposed to be about justice, but a News 8 investigation shows that when the motives of the media and law enforcement get confused, justice can be meager, and in this case, tragic. It's a prosecutor's worst nightmare, and in fact, I've had uh, this experience when I was a federal prosecutor. The last thing you want is for the news media or uh, reality TV shows to be involved in the uh, prosecution of a case or the investigation of a case. Get on the ground. Please, on the ground now. Some saw flaws in the procedure before the sting began. This email shows that Plano police wanted no part of the operation. The chief wants to ensure we have no one assisting, consulting, or being involved in their operation with Dateline. You've got problems from beginning to end. Please! Get on the ground. Get on the ground. ground. On the ground. On the ground. Face down. Face on your down. belly. Murphy went ahead anyway with a sting they say they'd been working on for two months. However, News 8 has learned that Murphy's lead investigator, Snow Robertson, did not even work for Murphy until one day before the sting began. That put more pressure on the group Perverted Justice. In fact, much of the investigation was done by Perverted Justice, which NBC pays to conduct Internet chats with alleged sexual predators. The group's methods have long been questioned. Most recently by Marsha Bartell, a former NBC producer who is now suing NBC for a million dollars after she was fired when she voiced concerns about the ethics on To Catch a Predator. Her lawsuit alleges the perverted justice chats are trolling operations. NBC, the lawsuit says, unethically provides local law enforcement with video equipment and videotapes. Police! On the ground! Police! On the ground! Get on the ground. Okay. As reported by News 8, Murphy police appear to have been wearing NBC cameras in the Murphy sting. Neither NBC nor Murphy will comment. You'll take care of the interview part there. If there's any Before the final scene, NBC got briefed on how they'd get pictures of the man inside the house in Terrell. He was Bill Conrad, a former Kaufman County DA, at that time an assistant Rockwall County District Attorney. He was to be To Catch a Predator's last and most notorious Murphy target. Patricia Conrad is his sister. And these people were acting as not only police, but judge, jury, and executioner. Perverted justice chatters posing as a young boy say Conrad solicited them on the Internet. So when do you want to come over? And then talked to an NBC decoy on the phone. That led to the stationing of men from two police forces on Conrad's front lawn that Sunday. When he didn't answer the door, police decided to phone him. 972. They got the number from NBC. 524. If you have a suspect who's not responding, do you storm his house? I don't, I don't think so. After phone contact failed, the Terrell Police tactical team got called in to serve a search warrant. When they broke down the door, there was a single shot. Conrad had shot himself in the head. I think it was about headlines, making a splash, making a story, uh, jumping to conclusions. You know, we've got something that's really going to bring up our ratings. As a matter of disclosure, Channel 8 competes against KXAS Channel 5, which is partially owned by NBC. In a statement to News 8, NBC says it's been transparent about its reporting methods, including the role of law enforcement and perverted justice. NBC says it's proud of its reporting and that the $1 million lawsuit is without merit. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.